Hello learners, I am Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raoult in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now let us see how to solve this given question. Here we need to evaluate integral dx by 1 plus x under root 3 plus 2x minus x square. Okay, I am going to go a bit slow and make it easy for you. So please stay with me to get crystal clear understanding. Chalo. Now how to solve this kind of question is, first take the given integral as i and mark it as equation 1 okay now for this kind of questions you see like there is a linear term here like x plus 1 and we have a quadratic expression uh, under the square root now what to do in this case the technique is we need to take 1 plus x as 1 by t we need to take 1 plus x as 1 by t so substitution method wherein we put 1 plus x as 1 by t and mark it as Two, equation 2 okay now since 1 plus x is 1 by t send this 1 to the rh so i get x is 1 by t minus 1 okay now now just differentiate both sides just differentiate so i get dx equal to minus 1 by t square into dt you see this you could think something like dx by dt is nothing but minus 1 by t square so dt if you send it here that is one way or since you are just differentiating, so you get dx is nothing but equal to minus 1 by t square into dt you will get because you are just differentiating. Fine, now then mark it as equal. Now, don't just substitute things directly in this as, as it is now. Why? Because this term which is there now under root 3 plus 2x minus x square, it requires some good amount of work. Okay. Instead of, you know, now you could just put 1 plus x as 1 by t and x as this and then start substituting, I mean start solving. But instead of that, I recommend you to do this. First, find out. Okay, since x x is uh, one by t minus one, right? So just take LCM here. I'd get one minus t by t. Okay. Now first, find out this in terms of t, like under root three plus two x minus x square. First, simplify it in terms of t. So this is what I'd get in place of x. I would just put one minus t. All good. So three plus two into one minus t by t minus one minus t whole square by t whole square fine so there's nothing but 3 plus you see um, this is like 2 into 1 minus t by t so the 2 goes to the numerator so 2 into 1 minus t by t and minus 1 minus t whole square by t square fine now next here you see we have uh, t square and here there is t and here you know you can just take it like 1 3 by 1 okay so if we take lcm we get you know uh, to get uh, the common denominator would be t square right? so here already t is there so i just need one more t so 2 t into 1 minus t by t square so that's fine i'm taking lcm okay i'm just explaining here 3 is there so 3 t square by t square so that's all in other words you know in simple words i just took lcm right? now i got this let's continue to simplify so 2t into 1 is 2t minus 2t into t is 2t square minus just expand this uh, 1 plus t square minus 2t a minus b whole square expansion fine now okay what else yeah 3t square minus 2t square here you see 3t square minus 2t square is nothing but t square which i just put it here 2t is there as it is now expand this i mean multiply minus 2 the terms in this bracket so minus 1 minus t square minus of minus 2t is plus 2t fine now next so fine so again t square minus t square they cancel out and 2t plus 2t is 4t minus 1 is there so under root 4t minus 1 by t square now this can be written as uh, split the root so root of 4t minus 1 by root of t square so root of t square is nothing but t and mark it as equation 4 okay now you see our integration is going to be very easy very easy because you know otherwise if if you had not done this uh, you know writing under root 3 plus 2x minus x square in terms of t as i have just mentioned here you know if you would have just substituted and started writing it would have been i mean a little bit more there could have been a bit more steps that's what i feel and it could have been a little difficult in computing as well in calculating 
fine now our i is this from 2 3 4 okay if you guys remember see 2 is this i'll just show you see 1 plus x is 1 by t so in this integral in place of 1 by x there will be a 1 by t in place in place of dx i would get minus 1 by t square dt and this under root of 3 plus 2x minus x square is nothing but i showed you right root 4t minus 1 by t so if i were to do that this is what i'd get dx in place of dx i minus 1 by t square dt so 1 by d and then fine i hope things are pretty clear now some basic simplification this would be nothing but minus 1 by t square dt by this t and t are there so root 4t minus 1 by t square now t square and t square like here they would cancel out so i'm left out with minus integral minus dt by root 4t minus 1 this minus just take it outside the integral so i is nothing but integral dt by 4 under root 4t minus 1 okay now you see this something like of the form integral dx by root x integral dx by root x so integral dx by root x is nothing but 2 root x plus constant so in place of x have 4t minus 1 so i get minus is already there okay that's why there is minus 2 root 4t minus 1 plus positive but wait what is this 4 doing in the denominator here what is this 4 doing why because see here i am not integrating root t here i am integrating 4 under root i mean integral dt by root of 4t minus 1 So there is 4t minus 1 in place of t. I have 4t minus 1. What is derivative of 4t minus 1? Derivative of 4t minus 1 is nothing but 4. Derivative of 4t minus 1 is 4. That's why, uh, you know, this is what I get. But I need to divide it with the derivative of 4t minus 1. Okay. I hope it's clear. So that's why I got this 4 here now. Two ones are two twos are minus one by two root four t minus one is constant. Now, you see t is something which we introduced. Okay, so uh, we need our final answer in terms of x. What to do? See, if you guys remember, if you guys remember, I'll just show you. Hmm. One plus x is nothing but one by t, right? One plus x is one by t. So what will be t? Uh, send this, uh, you know, t here. So I get t into one plus x is equal to one. Now t is nothing but one by one plus x. T is nothing but one by one plus x. So that's what you are going to see. So in place of t, I just put one by one plus x. Okay, now four into one is four. Four by one plus x minus one, and yeah, like there is an integration constant. You know, right? Once integration is done, we get a constant integration constant. Now again, basic, you know, LCM. So here there is one. So four minus of one plus x by one plus x. This all is there in the under root. Four minus one minus x. Like minus is there. Minus one minus x. What is four minus one? Three. So I get three minus x. Okay, so my final answer minus one by two under root three minus x by one plus x plus constant. This is what is there in the textbook, and we got that. Okay, thank you very much for staying with me up till now. Not just this question, I made other questions related to indefinite integration as well, like reduction formula and other questions. You can check out the those questions in the playlist, and not just that. Uh, in case you like this video, please hit the like button. It would encourage me to make many more of such videos. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it.